I think they officially light these candles December 5th as a timeline. Asthma. <laughs> The Chamber of Commerce was the old jail. Huh. <laughs> you know, people might actually think they need to pay to park here. Expired. I've never seen a homeless donation station before. There's no homeless here. I haven't seen a single one, except for me. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is last night. Old Firehouse Plaza. It's a fitting sign. Whiskey Row. <clears throat> so I got restrooms to the left. Oh yeah, in there. And then restrooms upstairs. It's not a huge establishment. Elevator, pretzel, Prescott pretzels, English garden, tea room. Okay. And then you can't get to the the fire hydrants. <laughs> He's kind of. Not sure how busy this place is. It's 9 a.m. and I still have frost. <clears throat> I sometimes forget what a good combination bread and <clears throat> these tomatoes are. I don't want to consume the oil. I try to let some of that drip off. This bread has great combination. I got it at Sprouts. Got to pay a little extra for <laughs> bread that they don't add sugar to. I'm not sure why this is made to be red. Going backward in time. 1100, 1050. I'm going in a backwards fashion, but if I turn around to read it. That's upside down. Muslim calendar and 650. They seem to have a lot going on around this library. <laughs> when does it rain? Got a water collection. Okay.
the homeless, I think, is in their small group hangout around here. <laughs> they got a big old fence. No trespassing. It's not a big group, maybe eight people. Just hanging out in this park. Okay, here's where you enter and exit. There is some questionable activity happening in this park. <clears throat> so it's only Monday, 8 to 9, breakfast. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell if the, the wind is increasing or if somebody is walking around my car. I playing around in the Walmart parking lot with this bicycle pump pumping up my tire. It seems like it's working pretty good. You can see the <clears throat> inflation is going pretty good. See if I can get some. It's it's holding the pressure, showing. I let it drop below 20. <laughs> so. <clears throat> this takes quite a few pumps. How do I get a mine for breakfast or whatever? Is it too late? Yeah. Is, is there breakfast? Yeah, right, right here. Start it's video. coming. Oh, right between 40 and 50 homeless people I don't know they must have a specific place to hang out I don't really see them anywhere <clears throat>
I'm just not sure which uh, courthouses decide to have metal detectors so frequently. I saw this from the street, it caught my eye. Some kind of a thrift store game. It's pretty beat up, I need a new orb for it. So this is one of those timing games, pretty much. Pretty much. Set, set up for you to lose, I think. Huh. That's neat. Excuse me, I'm going to take this call. This is Steffi. How may I direct? I mean, what you're trying to explain to me is stuff that comes down to nature, pretty much what we're extracting from nature. Yeah, sure, it might take some work, but we're expecting more from nature to give to, back back to us as well. Draw oil from the ground, draw wood from the trees. I mean, yeah, but that doesn't that, happen. Can they? People yeah, but can they? We're 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 in a we're in a state of conservation now. Where we just can't, you know, work as hard as we we want. We actually have to work in conservation too, and not over harvest stuff. So what does so what does that have to do? With you? Well, what are you what are you saying? We can't we can't just harvest as much food as we want. We have to practice conservation with that. So, I mean, yeah, it may take people or whatever, but I mean, people can only do so much. We have limited resources. What is it that you need help with right now? Well, I'm here for food. Like I said, you said the bread rack. All right, was there anything else? Is there a once a month, um, you know, people come and line up and and then uh, wait. So there are hot meals that are Yeah, I'm aware. Yep. Oh, oh, there's more than one? Pardon me? There's more than one? Hot meals? Yes. Yes. There's a okay. couple different places. Yes, I'm, I'm aware of the Salvation Army, but there's there's if there's others, I'm not aware of those. There you go. All right, yeah. Thank you. I don't need... Thank you. Is, okay, is there a food bank? This isn't a food bank. Okay. Do you have a list for food banks? Um, okay, so, all right, yep, taking, taking food from your backs. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I had this lady at this, this um, charity, uh, what's the name of it, Catholic Charities start telling me that they have to take money out of the food, out of their paychecks to pay for the food bank so I can eat. So she was trying to give me a guilt trip about that, about asking for, asking for food, that it takes, it takes hard work and people to work, to, to give me that that free handout and I should feel guilty for it or something. I didn't make the best argument talking about conservation and stuff, but I just, I wanted to try to give her a clear picture that it's, yeah, sure, people take, take people have to ex do the extractions uh, from from the environment to, to provide for other people. It takes, it takes work, but we, we only have so much resources too. That's a weak argument. I didn't know how to better say that, but I just, I, I, I wasn't prepared for that, that her saying that I had I had to re rely on, on people's backs to give me food. And I, there's there's counter arguments to that because it's a, it's a sickening it's a sickening argument for me to hear that people work to, to provide money to give me free food. I don't like that that stance of people trying to make me feel guilty about asking for handouts. My better argument might have been that this is expired food in some ways, and it's food that would have been thrown out, and that you're just a step above 
a, a garbage uh, a dumpster diver. I should have brought that argument up. She caught me off guard. So the museum is not open until tomorrow, Tuesday, but they do open up the museum. Oh, I see. Okay, this is the fee area. There's somebody sitting in there. Okay, and then to get in, you have to pay. Well, I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right, so apparently there's a, a, a soup kitchen every day of the week. Even even uh, covering um, breakfast and, and like supper and stuff. <laughs> Uh, so there's four of these homeless donation stations. City of Prescott Initiative to help the homeless. So it's run by the city. Let's check this out. They got breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Look at it. All the Indian tribes have their own... have consolidated. The Navajo Nation is consolidated with the others. So they've met, they have a free, <clears throat> this is free, and it's just a newspaper about jokes. I think advertising is, is what pays for it. Isn't there a caption contest? Uh, Yeah, there's... There's not a lot of ads. Yeah, big ads on the back. No, actually, no. It's not many ads. Alright, second breakfast at the uh, Salvation Army. I recorded nothing. I feel guilty about that. But we got chicken, green beans. A lot of good tasty foods uh, different from yesterday because yesterday was uh, was uh, um, <clears throat> oatmeal and did more pumpkin pie bigger pieces of pumpkin pie yesterday so they sliced them smaller today good stuff though good choices um, I actually bought green beans they're like raw sitting in my car and I got to cook eat cooked green beans I wanted some because I need them for my teeth I know they're between green beans and potatoes. They do a good job uh, making my teeth not hurt. 